Hello, I'm Christopher Lowell, host of Fine Living's Work That Room. If you think mirrors are simply utilitarian or a place to check out the hair and the makeup, oh, they can do wonders for a room. The key is knowing how to use them. So I suppose you've been seeing these great big oversized mirrors popping up everywhere, especially in public spaces, but a lot of people really don't know how to use them. Obviously, you can just hang it on the wall. Here's what mirrors do though. They double everything you own. So when you place a mirror, you have to be really sure of what it will reflect. I've seen more people put mirrors up against the wall that reflect nothing. Not a good use of space. Now, if you want your mirror to take up a lot more volume on a great big wall, and you want it fully integrated into the room, a great trick you can do is take the same drapes that you're using in all the windows in the room and add two more, both sides, to flank the mirror. And that will fully integrate it while taking up a little bit more visual volume. Cool trick, right? One of the great things to really sell the illusion with mirrors is interrupt the space and the reflection. Here, I've just put a really pretty occasional table or a console table. And once I begin to merchandise, the flowers double and the candlelight doubles too for a wonderful piece of mirror magic. Now, a trick that I use a lot in small spaces when there's no room for a large dining room table is I create the illusion that there is one. Here, a smaller table is pushed directly up against the mirror, creating a very long line. Then, by simply dressing it, I've got seating, depending on how big my chairs are, from four to six. Now, when it's not being used, the flowers can go center, but when the table is set, this becomes the dividing line to help sell the illusion that the table starts there and goes all the way to there. So, the next time you're stuck as to what to put on that great wall, a mirror is a safe classic bet because it will double everything you own and become a true reflection of the room and you. I'm Christopher Lowell.